In this week's parsha, we're introduced to perhaps the first convert ever in the history of the Jewish people. Obviously, we're referring to Yisro, Moshe Rabbeinu's father-in-law. And Yisro didn't come for no reason whatsoever. It wasn't random. Rather, he was inspired to do so. The parsha begins by Yishma Yisro. That Yisro heard about all the wonderful things that Hakadosh Baruch Hu did for the Jewish people. And Rashi says that what did he hear? He actually heard about two things in particular. We could focus in on two events that served as the inspiration for Yisro to leave it all behind, his family life and what he was comfortable and used to, and join up with Am Yisrael. What were those events? Kriyas Yamsuf and Milchemes Amalek. Now certainly Kriyas Yamsuf and Milchemes Amalek were two events that could inspire anybody to want to explore more and perhaps join Am Yisrael in terms of its spiritual destiny. But certainly there were other candidates there were other great events and chasadim from HaKadosh Baruch Hu that could have been nominated as the reason and the source of the inspiration for Yisro to join up with the Jewish people. What about Esther Makos? Why, why wasn't that a source of inspiration for Yisro to join up with the Jewish people? Certainly he could have heard about the man, the heavenly bread that sustained the Jewish people for 40 years in the Midbar. That also could have served as motivation. Why do we focus in on Milchemes Amalek and Kriyas Yamsuf? What is unique about these miracles that really were the catalyst to inspire Yisro to come? And I think in order to answer this question, we need to understand that there, these two miracles are fundamentally different in terms of their nature. Kriyas Yamsuf, HaKadosh Baruch Hu splitting the sea, is one of the most miraculous events to ever take place. Something that we would identify as a Nes Nigla. HaKadosh Baruch Hu changing nature, the, the way in which the world is generally run, changing Teva in order to save the Jewish people from the clutches of the Mitzrim. However, Melchemes Amalek, when the Jews were able to withstand the onslaught of the Amalek nation, while it certainly was a miracle, they were not militarily sophisticated in order to maybe withstand that they were slaves, nevertheless, we would identify that as a Nes Nister, a hidden miracle. That one could have easily explained away without recognizing HaKadosh Baruch Hu's hand and involvement in that military victory. And the greatness of Yisro and what inspired him was that he was able to recognize that both the Nisim Gluyim as well as the Nisim Nistarim all come from the Ribbon Shalom. They're all a function of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed and Ava for the Jewish people. And that's why these events in particular are chosen because they give the full totality of a reason why Yisro would join up with Am Yisrael. And these ideas by Yisro remind me of a very beautiful Meshachachma. The Meshachachma asks a seeming contradiction between two Gemaras. On the one hand, the Gemara says, anybody who says halal every single day is a machari from a gadif, is a blasphemer. One is not allowed to engage in saying halal every single day. However, the Gemara also explains that somebody who says Ashrei three times a day is called a Ben Olam Haba. How could it be that when one says Hala, which is praising our Kaddish Baruch Hu, every single day, that that is a sin? But when one engages in saying Ashrei, which ultimately is also about praising our Kaddish Baruch Hu for his Chesed, that if he says that three times a day, he is a Ben Olam Haba, that is a very serious reward. What is the difference between these two Gemaras? And the Shachachma explains that if one says halal every day, what they're ultimately saying is, I only recognize the Ribbon Shalom when it comes to the Nisim Gluyim. Because we say halal on Nisim Gluyim. We say halal on Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. We say halal on oil that was able to last on Hanukkah from, that was only supposed to last one day, it lasted eight days. If I only say halal every day, that means I only see HaKadosh Baruch Hu in those open miracles. But if I say Ashrei three times a day, that I recognize Bechol Yom Even if things are not a Neis Galoi, but a Neis Nister, I still see HaKadosh Baruch Hu involved in the Chesed. Posea Chesed Yadechu That God is constantly involved, even in the small minutia and the small details of our life, uh, that is also a function and a Chesed of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And this is what Yisrael recognized, Kriyas Yamsuf and Melchem Samalek. When we all follow in the footsteps of Yisrael, and see the Ribbon Shalom and the Chasadim that He provides for us in our lives, both when it's a Nes Galoi, as well as when it's a Nes Nister. Have a wonderful Shabbos.